And now, Collective, this is your daily progress read for September 2nd. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your wisdom, inspiration, guidance, protection, and above all, your presence with us. I went ahead and pulled some cards. We've got some great cards coming out today. We've got the Manifestor, which is all about monitoring your inner dialogue here, okay, and using quantum affirmations. All right, light workers, we're manifestors too, right? That's how we uh, help also help others. We also have the teacher. You would do well to read more and learn about those who have walked the path before you. If you're trying to get from point A to point B, it's nice to see how other people have gone, right? It gives us ideas. It keeps us inspired. It lets us know we're not alone sometimes too in this process. Spirit, what do you have for... Our light workers, our healers. Thank you. Again, it seems like we've got a lot of conflict going on around us. Some of these same cards have kept coming up. I don't know if you folks, I just did a, a theme reading on the Knight of Swords for all signs because that um, I've been doing love readings and abundance readings, and um, that's been coming up for pretty much every single sign. So if you haven't seen that, check it out, okay? Because I go into like a full description uh, with some different interpretations of what that Knight of Swords means. Okay? And also I do a reading. So anyway, we've got the Five of Wands here. I think there's still conflict going on around you. Again, you might not even realize that. Okay? You're being offered this Divine Cup. Okay? Are you, are you looking at these cups? Or are you seeing what's coming in? I feel like you folks still kind of feel like you're trapped here. Okay, for some reason, which is why we might be getting like the, the reassurance here of the manifester and the teacher. If you're somewhat stuck, you know, maybe it's time to look into, you know, what other people are doing. If nothing else, just for inspiration or get out in nature, wherever you go to really talk to spirit. I feel like you folks have been working really hard. It could be just that you're kind of, you know, tired. Maybe you just need to take a, a break, a rest. I th feel like things are growing, but you feel like you're kind of in the thick of it here. Notice the two sevens that we have here, okay? The reality is, is that you have a lot of really stellar work you might not be seeing, okay? It's, it's kind of like a little bit of a funk going on here, okay? This is the reality, and this is kind of how you're feeling, Know that um, you have celebrations coming in here. It could possibly be a marriage. It could be a level up with your partnership with spirit. Okay. Um, some of us, I know, uh, you know, have been getting like different, different spirit team members with all these new downloads. Um, you know, things like that. You're guaranteed a great harvest here. So um, be assured that all this goodness is coming in for you, okay? I'm gonna put this here. I, I did another reading again. Um, I did the Knight of Swords reading and I've done a lot of, uh, I'm starting to do the abundance readings and the tower moment is coming up for some and it's about leveling up. I think, you know, this could be a past situation. This could be a validation that this is a rebirth and you need to leave this stuff behind, okay? And again, this could just be about mindset, right? We've got the six of cups, like some, you know, you're being nostalgic. You're looking at good things that were there. And yes, you, you grew from these types of situations, but it's time to kind of focus on the future here. Put your boundary up in a very tactful, graceful way because you are the magician here. You've got the manifester and the magician out here, okay? Right, it's it's kind of like taking time to get into that power. Again, we've got celebrations coming in for you. Okay, um, excuse me, these cards flipped onto the floor. We've got the six of pentacles here: spiritual go growth, spiritual wealth, you know, financial wealth. You've got to pull things into balance here. All right, two of swords energy. Take. Take the blindfold off. You've got a ton of love coming in for you. Okay? All kinds of love that is flowing in for you. You have to open your eyes to see it. 
okay? And for some of you that are looking for it, again, this could be, you know, a sign of, you know, an actual partnership with another, you know, person, a partner, and possibly a marriage card if that's what you're looking for. And it might also be surrounding your spiritual health and wealth and or your financial health and wealth as well. We've got divine intervention. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for being with whoever that is. I feel like there's people around you possibly that are in this situation that you might be concerned about. Okay. So ask Archangel Raphael for, for help with this. I have faith in divine intervention and I fully accept your guidance now. And that laughter is the best medicine. Thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within every human drama. Okay, because you definitely had some drama going on over here. Right? Um, I also, another card that flipped out here, we've got two more. Forgiveness heals and consult a nutritionist. So um, it's about, you know, your body needs fuel. Okay? So we have to be careful what we put on our bodies, because especially if we're channeling, if we're healers and things like that, so that energy can flow well. And we're being called to forgive. I'm going to set this over here. We're being called to forgive here. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want, which is peace and health. Affirmation. Every morning I am born again. What I do today is what matters most. I am the sky. Everything else is just the weather. <laughs> I love that saying. I am enough. Okay? So you're being called out to have faith in yourself here. All right? We had one more. No matter how many excellent deeds you may have performed for a thousand eons, such as generosity or making offerings to the Buddhas, they all perish in one fit of anger. So for some of you, this tower moment, you know, you're, you're being called out here to remember to come, okay, from a higher perspective here. I'm going to pull one more card here for you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, gods. Is there anything else we have for our light workers, our star seeds to move forward? What about this tower moment? Can you give some other insight here for this tower moment, please? Okay, yeah, we've got the temperance card here. Okay, you're being called out to have patience. Patience and grace. Yeah, and I've got the communication card coming out here, number 41. Watch how you're communicating. It's about transformation and trusting the psychic gifts. Trust your intuition when you're involved with this. Okay, okay. And we've got focus number 33. Where are you putting your focus here? All right. You're the manifester. You have the magician card. Okay. Where are you putting your focus? As far as this stuff goes, it's about how you're handling the communication. Respecting other people's journeys. So I hope this has been helpful. Take good care of yourselves. Take care of each other and be kind out there.